In this video, I'll demonstrate a macro that lets you copy a file in a folder. And to make things simple, I have the source folder and the destination folder and the file name here on this worksheet. So copy the VBA code and then go to tab developer and then visual basic button and this uh, opens the visual basic editor and here right click on your workbook and then click on insert and module and this adds a module to your workbook so make sure you save it as with the file extension xlsm and macro enabled workbook and here paste the code to the code module which is this window here and then i have uh, the uh, source folder here in this window and the destination folder here and actually i do not <laughs> I have to change these. So they match. So the source folder is here and the destination folder is here. Temp1 and temp. And I'm going to copy a file name, a file with the name 1.txt. So to do that, I need to create a new file and here I'm going to type hello and save that and now I can run the macro that will copy this file in this source folder and paste it to this destination folder and to show you that I have the windows here so go to the macros and here go to copy file click run and the file shows up down here in this window and it has the same text message as this file up here so it's a copy copied file the next macro on my website is this one here and it lets you copy and rename a file so simply copy the VBA code and go to the Visual Basic Editor and paste the code here and then I have the source folder here and the file name and the file name is here and the destination folder and the new file name will be 2.txt so run the macro copy rename file and hopefully this will work and here it is The same file as this but it has a new name this macro here allows you to rename a file in a folder copy that go to the visual basic editor and paste the code here and the macro name is rename file and i have both of these. Oh, I only need this folder here. And I want to rename 1.txt to 2.txt. And the folder is this temp folder here. So go to the macro button, click on the macro button, and click on rename file. And there, 
then go to click on run button and it the file name changed from one to two this macro here on my website lists all the content in a folder copy the code Go to the digital basic editor and paste it there. And the macro name is list files in folder. Then I want to list the files in this temp folder on my hard drive. So I need to change this name here. And That's it. Click on the macros button and then list files in folder. Run. Click on the run button. And I believe I need a backslash for this to work. And now you can see that I have only one file in this folder shown here. And if I want to show the files in this folder here, I'll change the name of the folder here and run the macro again. And now it shows these two files here. And I have them here.